what's up everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl miss Janice and I am back at you with a nail tutorial slash watch me work type of video now as you can see we have done like a black ombre with like the bubble nails with some chrome um, underneath um, and though that is actually like three different chrome powders so you can see like blue well, well actually purple and light blue and like um, green in it um this is my first time doing the nail bubble nail so let's get into it now if you haven't already subscribed to the channel make sure you definitely do that and hit that bell for notifications but i've already prepped this nail as far as giving him a manicure he works like 12 hours so like his cuticles and everything are already split and when i keep saying he i mean my boyfriend so this is his hand i didn't have um anybody to do this design on and he needed a manicure and i was like hey you know since you're right here let me go ahead and do this and we take the nails right off so like he's super macho he ain't going for that So after I have all the tips on, I kind of wanted to do like a tapered kind of look. Not so much like coughing because he has like wide fingers. That's another thing like as a nail tech, you kind of got to gauge what type of like nail style kind of looks best on your client. Like I think if they have like wide nails, uh, like a wide nail bed, sometimes like a coffin isn't like the best. Um, and sometimes maybe like a more tapered look looks better. Um, but yeah, he has like big hands. So like I just wanted to keep him like kind of kind of wide a little bit. But like kind of tapering at the end. Now um, you will see me pulling this man's hand. Because he did just uh, get out of work today like at 3. It's like 2 in the morning right now. I don't be have nothing to do. I'll be up up late. But um. Yeah, he was like falling asleep while I was doing it. You'll see it, like his hand moving and everything like that. So that's just me going in um, with like a, uh, it's, it's like a sanding bit, but it's a metal one. Um, so it's like how you can just like prep a nail. So like kind of how uh, Young Nails has like a cross cut, the cross cut one. This is kind of like that. You can use it for like natural nails and you can also use it for like, in, uh, in, like, this type of work. I really wouldn't do it like on an enhancement or anything. Yeah, and that's him busy trying to fondle me over <laughs> through the table. But anyway, um, that's me. Um, anytime like I use like acrylic, uh, colored acrylic or anything like that, I always put like a, a, a clear base down. So like if the client ever wants to like take off the acrylic color and just change like the colors out, um, I don't drill like all the way down to like their natural nails. So that's just me taking my young nails clear and just uh, basically protecting the natural nail. And I don't bring it all the way down. Um, I just make sure that the natural milk is covered. So here is the fun part where we start adding that color in. Um, the design that ended up like we ended up with wasn't really what I was going for, but like he kept falling asleep. So maybe like the next one is probably going to be something that i really want to do but this is just like a black from mia secrets um it came in like a 12 pack i think of like different colors and stuff like that and for the most part like this black is i think it's, it has a good like consistency and things like that um but i want to make sure that it's like dark if that makes sense like if it's gonna be black like i need you to be nice and everywhere where i need you to be 
and this is also their uh Mia Secrets cover beige. I really like their cover powders. Um they blend really, really good and they also like match a lot of different uh skin tones. I have uh, I have rose, uh, pink, and then this one is beige. So like for like lighter skin tones or like more yellowy skin tones, I go for like the beige, the beige look. Um for more darker skin tones, I go for like the rose one. And then like I don't know, I really kind of like gauge it based off like people's skin tones because your nail bed color also like kind of shows through. So um, when you're picking like covers and covers that aren't like super, super opaque because they are somewhat like uh, translucent, a, a slight translucent though you can still see through them a little bit. Uh, make sure you take into consideration the client's skin tone because uh, different ones will look very flattering. Now on the pointer finger, I have like, uh, it's like a black glitter. Um, you can't really see it like unless you like up on it, on it. So like once I started doing it, I was like, dang, I shouldn't even did that one. So it kind of like messed up what I was going for. So that's why I just made like these two just um, braid them out. And yeah, but yeah, Mio Secrets for the most part, like it's easy. The colors is easy to... Um, blend down and everything I haven't used their clear but I think I might do a video of me trying it because I typically use like young nail I really started off on like OPI but um, I started using young nails um, acrylic system because I really liked it and so here you can see me just capping um, capping everything which is what you want to do I mean sometimes you don't have to um, it depends on how thick you let make it, but like, like I said, since I'm taking these off, these are pretty thin for the most part. The, oh, the ombre ones, they like, they're like average because, I mean, you can't really gauge an ombre nail. <laughs> you can't really like make it thin or whatever, but like the pinky is super thin. Um, everything else is pretty thin and he was being impatient with me and he cut them off with some scissors anyway. After we done clear capped everything I like to kind of go back in and, and just make sure my shaping is right and what I what I realized too is like when you kind of hit those sides a little bit like you round them a little bit it makes the nail look so much better like and it brings it in a little bit gives it a little bit of a natural curve um and yeah but here you can see you're gonna be able to see me like really really like holding his hand and stuff because he was like legit dozing off and it was only like seven o'clock but I understand that 12 hour shifts for like seven days straight and tomorrow your next day off I understand I understand so I appreciate him for like <laughs> So now I'm going in with my uh, medical uh, four-way titanium bit. I love this bit. Um, on my previous videos, you guys seen it, and it was like silver. And man, I broke that bit. Now, mind you, I had that bit since like 2008, and it was titanium. And when I tell you it was so hard to like find a bit that like you can 
go every which way and it's it's a fine one so like it can take down but it also helps with like finish fouling i really don't have to like buff stuff and i think i, I just got good to the part to where like i really don't have to buff the nail out it's pretty much smooth uh, once I do it with this and you know when you lay in your acrylic good you don't have to worry about really using that buffing block afterwards anyway now um the the two ombre ones, I just used the McCart uh, top coat because I wasn't going to uh, put anything on them or anything. And I don't think, well, I haven't really tried it, but the McCart um, top coat, like, it doesn't take well to, like, pigments. Like, because I have a lot of different, like, holographics and, and uh, pigments and things like that, and they won't stick to that. So, like, I like it for it's, like, shiny and it's, like, scratch resistant and things like that. But for the rest of them, I used this, um, what's it called? Like Pretty Diva or something like that. And I got it off of Amazon. And this thing picks up pigment. Like, it holds on the pigment so well. So, after you cure it, you just literally just rub it on. Like, you don't have to wipe it, wipe it with, like, alcohol or anything like that. It's it's good to go, like, from that part. Like, when you see this, when you see it come on here, guys, watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this when it come on, bruh. Like, you gonna be like, damn. Because it just glad it, it don't so smooth. And like I said, I mixed, like, three different ones. So, like... It was like purple, um, like a light silver, and then like this green. More of the green showed up, but like when you flex it a little bit, like you can see the other color. So I can, I can tell like if I wanted to, because I got like six of them. If I wanted to, I could probably mix them together and like probably do some like chameleon stuff or something like that. So I'm so mad at this part because. Um, after I did that, I put the McCart top coat on them, and then I put uh, some bubbles, like just some bubbles, put in a, uh, in a bottle, and then just, you know, kind of squeeze them, and I'm so sorry that, like, something happened weird with my camera that I couldn't see it, so, um... What I'm doing now is that sometimes, uh, I guess, when you're doing the bubble nails, like, it can be, like, sticking out a little bit. So I just kind of fouled it down. And I noticed since he was, like, falling asleep while I was doing it, like, you guys seen, like, he kind of pushed his thumb in. And so it's kind of like a line on the side. But, like, this is my first time doing it. I know how to do it better now. Plus, his ass was falling asleep. But, yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching. And here are the final results. Are they so pretty? Thanks, guys, for watching. And like I said, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys like content like this. Um, in the next couple days or so, I'll be doing another video, and that'll be with that actual palette, um, the Mirage palette. So be on the lookout for that. Peace, love, and happiness, guys. See you next time.